Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Vault Hunters. Today what I want to start off with is actually placing in our permanent vault portal and what I plan on doing is digging out the mountain a little bit and placing the vault portal in there. We will have to come back or I'm going to come back off camera probably and fiddle with it because we're going to have to terraform a little bit and I'm not really great at it and there's a lot of little like mountainy area here that I'm gonna try and have to blend in with it so hopefully I can pull that off pretty well but anyways I'm gonna get to chipping away at this mountain and then once we're done with the portal we can start messing around with some more of the quests and hopefully maybe also run at least one vault today because I do want to see how the compass actually works since I didn't actually use it last episode Alrighty, well this thing is finally done. So for you guys it took about 30 seconds to a minute. For me it took several hours because of the way I was time lapsing the thing. So hopefully you guys liked it. I know at the beginning we're a little too far away. I was standing on that little tree right there for the whole thing. I didn't think I was going to be that far away and I tried to fix that in post, but it's actually not really that fixable. I zoomed it in a little bit. If I zoom it in anymore it just gets completely blurry because of how... I guess it's trying to zoom in. I'm not really sure why it's doing that, but I uh, can't really fix it. The second half, though, I did stand a little closer, so it looks a little bit better. The uh, inside of our ring here is going to get switched out eventually. I didn't plan on using amethyst for the backing there. I was going to use the chromatic iron ore block, not the, the raw ore block, the compressed ore block, because I think it looks kind of nice and adds that nice little shimmer to it. But uh, I can't, for the life of me, find any more chromatic iron. I barely found enough to place in the secondary ring right here on the backside. So I'm not exactly sure when, but eventually we will swap that out to the chromatic ore block. I think it looks a little bit better. I'm kind of okay with the amethyst, but it doesn't really do the shimmering thing that I wanted the uh, chromatic iron to be doing. So... Eventually, that'll swap. These things on the side are going to eventually get changed out to Voltor as well. We're just not in a place to do that just yet. So right now, it's just smooth stone. We'll change out the top layer so that it's the same size. It's just going to be the vault or itself. Maybe some vault gem blocks. I'm not sure. Is that a thing we can do? Probably. Anyways, though... I had planned on running a vault today just to see how the compass works, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. You see, this is being recorded on Tuesday, and tomorrow's Wednesday, and then uh, Thursday is the holiday. So I would like to get this out by Wednesday, and then we can hopefully get into the vault running swing of things next week again. This, uh, this, this took a long time. It uh, started last Tuesday, last Wednesday, before episode 2 came out. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was partly me mining for chromatic iron and partly me getting a little sidetracked with, um, Call of Duty Zombies, because that just recently came out and I have been absolutely no-lifing the, uh, the missions to get that skin unlocked, so my bad about that. Anyways, let's unlock our next quest, which requires us to have four of these guys. We also need a crafting table, so let's get one of those. And we also need some chromatic iron, so we're going to need... I think it's three of those, right? Pretty sure? Yeah, we only need three of them. Okay, cool. I'm really hoping that none of these recipes that we're going to have to craft, we don't need anything more special than, like, the wood from the vaults because we don't have a whole lot of stuff just yet and so we've got a lot of room to make up so this is going to allow us to craft the gem that's cool we have a lot of them by the way i don't know if i've showed them because i i definitely haven't gone over them with the mouse but we have a couple uh perfect ones so i think we're kind of okay with them at the moment but we can craft up the chromatic tools and i'm not sure what um what what's the point of using these guys honestly like do these work better in vaults do they last longer in vaults are they unbreakable in vaults like um like uh the uh the swords and stuff are outside of the vault runs right now 
I'm not exactly sure, but there we go. There is our, our tool station done. Oh man, all right. There is a lot to read for these tools and it probably tells me what I just asked there. So ignore that if it does, my bad. But uh, we need to throw together a chromatic iron pick. So to do that, we are going to need nine ingots, two driftwood and eight bronze. Do we have the bronze is the question. I'm pretty sure we do, we do indeed. Okay, let's uh, let's just do that. Let's take a stack of that. And we can also just take a stack of this, sure. So let's plop all that in there. We only want one of you, please don't multi-craft. Okay, cool, that's great. So there's our pick. We can then throw some of the little jewels on there. And this is going to give us a bunch of them. So in case we didn't already go do that, we could uh, get some from this. So let's see. This is going to allow us to instant mine, or at least mine a little bit quicker, I think, the living chests. This is going to do the coin piles. This is gilded chests. And this is ornates. So that's kind of cool. And do I do that in this table? I don't think I do, right? I'm going to need another station here, which is a jewel applicator, which is going to be this guy right here. So, do I have the iron? I should have the iron. What else did I need? Driftwood planks. Oh. Okay, that's not bad. That's only four of those guys combined. That's fine. We need another workbench, which is cool. And we should have all that here in two seconds. And there we go. Nice. This can go over here for right now as well. And then all we got to do is plop that in there. And we have a capacity of 100. We can repair it one time. Mining speed of 9. And the durability is, I think, default. So are these all 25? We are. Okay. Okay. So we can throw all of those on there, and I'm not sure if that's really advisable, but I guess that would be kind of good, because then when we come across any of those three types of chests or the coins, we should harvest them a little bit quicker. So let's do that. Hopefully that wasn't the wrong thing to do, but there we go. And again, like I said, we do have some of them that are legendary, or not legendary, uh, flawless and... Uh, was it perfect? I think we have a perfect one. We have a flawless one and the majority of them are just chipped. So I think we have two good ones and that's about it. So hopefully we can use those on something that is going to be a bit more beneficial than the thing we just made. But there we go. That's going to give us four of whatever iron ingots those were. This wanted us to hit level 5 in vaults, which we've already done, so that's great news. And this one is going to want us to craft the forage, so we should forge, not forage, dummy. But we do have this stuff for this, I think, especially off of that quest, actually. Maybe, maybe we have the stuff for that. I gotta look through, we got this, ooh, there we go, we got that stuff. Did I not just save that recipe? I did not, dumb dumb. Uh, we need five of that. Do we have that? We do have that. Okay. So give me one second. I got to mix together one of the uh, netherites and then we're good to go. Alrighty. Well, we had the blast furnace from the village, so we didn't have to actually craft that thing. So that's good. But there we go. There's our vault uh, forge. And again, for right now, until I decide where I want to actually place this stuff permanently, it can hang out here for two seconds. Anyways, though, there's our forge done. That is going to give us some more resources, and this thing wants us to craft up a magnet now. So, how does one craft the magnet? It should be one of these. Let me just see. Oh, it's that one right there, dum-dum. Okay, we need the magnetite ingots and vault gold. So, vault gold, magnetite ingots, and craft one of those, please. Thank you very much. Let's also roll it. It's going to just be... Oh, it's beginner. Okay. Let's just roll it. While that's rolling, let's complete our quest. It's going to give us nine more alloy, or nine alloy. I don't think we have any of that already. And the next thing on the list here is the artisan table. So with our magnet, we have 1.7% copiously. So does that go toward fortuning ore in a vault or coming across more ore in a vault? I think it's more ore in a vault, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh, we got 10 velocity... 14,000 durability, that's pretty good, and a 3.6 range. Not too shabby. Can we throw this anywhere? We can on our belt. Good. And let's go ahead and get our artisan station dealt with. If we have any more recipes that require a netherite ingot, we are out. So, uh, yeah, we can't do any more of those if they pop up. But there is our artisan station. Ooh, this is where we shove all of these guys. Get all of those out. I remember this a little bit. We put our tools in there. We can re-roll our suffixes and stuff, right? 
Oh, that doesn't go in there. Okay, never mind. But let's also collect our reward. And now it wants us to re-roll one of our pieces of gear with a wild focus, which is these guys. Okay, cool. So let's, um, ooh, what do I want to re-roll? Our chest piece is only, oh, I'm not going to touch that. Never mind. Um, oh man, I don't know which one I want to roll. I feel like we're kind of okay with the things that we have. This doesn't have suffixes and stuff we can throw on it, does it? Nope. So I'm actually going to roll this sword in the event that we get looting or something on it would be really nice. Although I do have a looting sword already because I was getting our uh, food done with that. So hopefully we're okay. Anyways, we're going to roll this thing. Let's plop that in there. We need the armor plating and I believe bronze. We do indeed. Cool. So all we got to do is this. That is going to roll undead damage and slowness cloud. It might have also changed the attack speed and damage. I'm not sure. I didn't pay that much attention to it. But anyways, let's collect this. Don't know what he's taking damage to. Oh, there's a there's a zombie up there fighting him. Can I sleep? I can indeed. Great. Alrighty. Well, anyways, let's craft up the next thing that we need. So it looks like we need the vault recycler, which is probably not craftable. Because it's probably going to want a netherite ingot, which it does indeed. Look at that. That's unfortunate. All right. Well, it looks like that is all of the crafting that we're going to be able to do today. Because we don't have any more netherite. So uh, let me put everything away and see. You know what? We're going to do one vault run. Let's just do one. We have a crystal already ready to go. I'm going to dump everything off. And I'm not going to dump everything off in a wrong chest, but uh, let me let me put everything away, and then we can run a vault, see how it's going to work with this thing. Maybe I leave, I, mean, I leave our fortune thing out here. There's no reason to bring it. We'll, we'll use this on chest and stuff, and then we'll at least get to see how this compass is going to operate today. Well, let's see this thing lit up for the first time. So that looks kind of neat. Not, uh... Not the worst looking thing I can imagine, but there we go. There's our vault portal. Let's jump on in. And I can't wait to uh, to run this and get unlucky to level up to level 10 and then have a few days where I don't play this and lose all of our gear on the next vault run because that's uh, most likely what's about to happen. But anyways, here we go. We've got three monoliths. We've got no modifiers, right? Nope, we do not. Okay, so the compass is already pointing toward the portal. So that's great news. We uh, we got to keep a mi keep an eye on that. We are a west pointing vault. So hopefully we can get a decent amount of stuff going here. We have the the um, magnet now. So that's going to be nice. But let's see if we're able to actually complete this, get all this stuff going that we need to. I feel pretty good about how to activate our uh, fall damage thing because I have been using it a whole ton building out our, our uh, portal. So hopefully we're good. We got a, uh, a vault, or not a vault room, a uh, an ore room immediately. Ooh, you know what I just realized I probably wanted to do? I might have wanted to put uh, Silk Touch on this if we're even able to do that. Because right now... Oh, no, I don't have my uh, wrong tool, man. Uh, we're not going to be able to Silk Touch that stuff. So I don't know if the Copious is actually going to have too much of a, a, a factor here. But let me spend a couple minutes here. We're going to clear this as much as we can. I just pressed the wrong button. No, I didn't. I pressed the right button. Uh, but we didn't actually need it. So it's a little bit of a waste there. But yeah, let me let me clear this out a little bit. And hopefully get a decent amount of ore. That would be nice. All right, well, here we go. We got some ornate chests, so let's use this. And we can mine it, so that's great. It's not super quick. Kind of think I can open this and empty it quicker. So maybe it'll be quicker if we actually enchanted our pick instead of coming in here with a bare standard pickaxe with the uh, affinities on there. But there we go, cool. We can at least mine them now if we want to do that. But we are going to continue looting. We got 17 minutes left before we have to leave. I've only found one monolith so far, so I need to 
kind of really kick it into gear here. Alrighty, well, we left that vault with a bit of time left on the clock there. That's my bad, but uh, I was only coming across a lot of ore, and I, I, I know that I need it, but right now, I didn't really feel like mining it, so I kind of just left with uh, six minutes left there. Alrighty, well, before we get to the loot here, we also completed our bounty, so that is actually going to give us two more netherite, so we can craft the thing that we needed to craft today. 109 chromatic iron, 78 polished vault stone. Can we can we just dump that onto the table? Is that a thing we can do, or do we have to do that in a vault? Because we have a lot of that polished stuff, because that's what our vault is made out of. So uh, these guys are polished. Okay, cool. Give me that. Can we? Oh, we can. We just click on it. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. So this one, 109 chromatic iron. Can we do that? We have, let's see, 111. We can do that one as well, sure. Let's go ahead and get that turned in. Cool, all of our bounties are done. We've got some more stuff to go through, but that is all stuff that we already know what it's going to be because it told us what it is on the, uh, the table over there. So that's cool. We got some more gear to roll. Let me roll everything. This is what we got just from that vault run itself. We got a lot of ore, so that's cool. I'm not gonna change out the the little stone thingy over by the vault portal just yet. I want to get to a point where I have a lot of this stuff so that I don't have to go over there and tear it down when we want to craft something together. So for the time being, I'm going to leave it be. But uh, let me roll the armor. If we have anything worthwhile, I'll let you guys know. If not, oh, you know what? Hold on one second. I can't believe I forgot about it. Let's uh, open that too. There we go. Uh, that gave us a bunch of gems. We got two more pieces of gear, or three more pieces of gear to roll. And we also got a mystery box, some more gems. We had one of these guys in there as well. We can roll. And that's everything. Okay, so uh, let me roll the armor. And if we got something, we'll uh, we'll take a look at it. Alrighty, well, off of all that gear, the only thing worthwhile is this sword. So we have a legendary prefix on it, which is going to give us 13 attack damage. So we should be doing, I think it's 21 and a half, 22 and a half damage compared to our 13 that our axe is currently doing. So that's kind of neat. We're going to swap on over to that. Let's also roll these guys which gave us emeralds, and our first thing... Nope, of course not. Okay, that's unfortunate. Anyways, let's throw together that thing that we needed, which was the vault recycler. So, one second. Oh, you know what? I can't actually craft that thing together because I just used up all of our chromatic iron completing that other bounty. So, we have two right now. We need four per ingot, and we're going to need five of those ingots. We have everything else, the lava bucket, the netherite, the uh, vault essence... We just don't have the chromatic iron. So for right now, that's probably where we're going to be leaving it. What I want to go ahead and do before we wrap up, though, is pick up some more stuff. So we have two unspent skill points. Let's, uh, let's see. What do we want to spend that on? If we do this, again, it increases the duration by a couple seconds. Doesn't really do anything else for us. Makes it a little less expensive as well. Ooh. That might be beneficial. Okay. Uh, let's do... Oh, that makes it more expensive. Oof. Uh, let's do... Well, let's do one level... Oh, actually, no. Hold on. One second. One second. Uh, we wanted to grab this guy. This is fortunate. That's going to give us two levels of that. We don't have to worry about that anymore. We can also grab... Actually, no, we... Oh, this is the expertise thing. Okay, that's what we just spent. I thought I was spending the, the two skill points. That was not the case. Okay. Uh, but anyways, there we go. We have Fortunate all the way up now. We have two levels of skill points, which we can spend on... Dun, 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 dun. Let's do um, Let's do one strength, so that we're doing a little bit more damage. And let's also do... Speed? No, we can't do speed. That's four points. Oh, I completely forgot about that already. <laughs> okay, uh, let's just do uh, strength so that hopefully we're doing a lot more damage than uh, the vaults are probably going to be geared for. We're also level 10, by the way, so I was kind of right. Next episode, when we run a vault, we're probably going to lose a lot of gear, or at least the gear that we go in with. So that's a concern we need to be uh, mindful of now moving forward. But anyways, that is where we're going to be wrapping up today's episode. Probably not as long as the other two episodes so far. And there's not going to be another episode this week because, again, the holiday on Thursday. But hopefully 
by uh, next week we are back into the swing of things maybe two to three episodes a week here moving forward we'll kind of see how things pan out but anyways that is going to be it for today's episode so i hope you guys have enjoyed as always and i will catch you on the next one thanks for watching